everybody, it's Maggie Mulher, and I'm here with Martin Parsons, and we are doing the best photo shoot. We're having such a good time. And Martin was said, I've got some tips about a roller set. So fill us in. Do you know, um, once we've uh, prepped the hair, uh, we use about 11, um, out of a 10 strength lotion, we use about a six. And so because her hair is quite porous, we use a cream base setting lotion. And if her hair were natural, we'd use a liquid. So the cream really absorbs into the hair and helps. But when you set the hot rollers, it's all about making these little short pieces right here bend. So it's really long. So watch, I'll come about seven inches out from the head, wrap the end around the roller, just like that, and hold it against the head. And when we clip it, stop clipping it like this, clip at the front. This holds it and there's no marks when you take it out, okay? And the end of the roll, the hair that's left, you just follow the flow of that roller, making sure that those ends get nice and tucked in here. Now you can use a comb to tuck those in, but you know what, using your hands and really grooming and feeling the hair, each of these little strands of hair need to go inside that roller like that. So you're getting a real strong uh, movement from it. And when I clip it, I'll clip it from the front. So see what a nice little neat package that makes? Everything sits on its own part. Particularly, can you uh, scrunch over to the side a little bit? Particularly when you're working across the front of the head, don't roll your rollers straight back. Bring them forward. Doesn't matter what you're gonna do with the hair, but bring them forward, draw it on a 45 degree angle down the head like that. Now, if you're gonna use a bit of spray, I'm not going to, there isn't any. Um, but watch how I, I run the roller down the hair. See how it smooths it out? Then turn it over. Clean it up. And then clip it from the front. So I know this may be a crazy question, but why are you rolling it or wrapping it uh, in a different direction from the initial, initial uh, roll? Uh, just so that this is a continuous spiral of movement. I could just pull this over there and roll it up, but I'm going to roll it under. So see this movement catches into the next movement. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right, so the tips here is clamping it at the ends, right. wrapping it in different directions, over direction, and wrapping it right. where, you, where it feels wrong, that's but right. that's to keep. And the reason why we roll the sides upwards is so that you don't get any marks around the hairline. I used to set the rollers going down, 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 but when you smooth it back, it's lumpy. But if you take diagonal section roll up, it falls into a perfect glamour wave, uh, but also no lines in the hair. Oh, that's so cool. It's so cool that you're still using these because, you know, some people say we don't use them anymore, and to get this kind of set, you need you know, it. Uh, anybody that works bridal, um, uh, does a lot of bridal work, a lot of updos, these are the best things for you because it's soft wave. You don't want crimples and crumps in the hair unless you want to put them in with your iron. I can't find it clear. So this one, so, and then you're going to do this throughout the whole head. That's right. And I just want her to just slowly turn this way so we can see this. And then I'll let you get back to work. Okay. So I just took a section out of here. I'll put my hand over it uh, to show you this. And then we'll fill in this roll. Okay, so everybody, I'm going to put this up online. And everybody's going to say, let me see the finished look. And you can't see it till it comes out in February, March, April. But stay tuned. It's, it's worth it. You're a genius. Thanks so much, Martin. Listen to her talking to me like that. <laughs> you know, See, every, yeah, there's more. You know what? We're all hairdressers. We all work hard. And you know, if you think, well, I'm not good at updos. I don't want to do them. What you got to realize is, remember the first bob cut you did? You might not have, it might not have come out too beautiful, but the more you did, the better it got. And pretty soon you start uh, uh, putting your signature on all your bobs. You have your own style of doing them. It's just like updos. The more you do, the better you get. So if you did as many updos as I do in a week, I do hundreds of thousands a year, I think. Um, it'd look easy for you, too. All right, so go to martinparsons.com. You can get his bobby pins there and all kinds of great stuff and videos and books and blah, blah, blah. Thank you again so much, Martin, and uh, looking forward to the rest of it. See everybody next time. <laughs> Bye.